Potable water is our most important nutrient and is used for both drinking and cooking. The water being used for personal hygiene and all types of cleaning requires the same high quality. It is therefore important to have enough water of satisfactory quality to cover all types of usage. Water can contain hazardous elements that can be divided into two groups. Microbes that cause infectious diseases or food poisoning such as bacteria, viruses and parasites and organic and inorganic substances that may cause health hazards such as poisoning or substances that accumulate in the human organism. The guide to ship sanitation defines in detail the testing requirements and the obligations of the operator in regard to potable water. By far the greatest risk in drinking water are associated with microbiological contamination from human excreta sources. Recommended parameters to be monitored include E. coli and coliforms, disinfectant residual, corrosion-related contaminants, turbidity and color, heterotrophic plate count and aesthetic parameters. The ship owner's duties are Provide a safe water supply fit for all intended purposes Ensure that the water on board is kept clean and free of pathogenic organisms and harmful chemicals Identify and assess sources of the risk Prepare a scheme for the prevention and control of the risk Appoint a responsible person on board your ship Keep records and implement and manage the scheme for measuring and monitoring. This all is summarized in a water safety plan. Key elements of the water safety plan are System assessment, operational monitoring, management and communication. To do the system assessment, you will find step-by-step -step instructions and examples of filled in tables in the CMT reference guide provided with the portable water test kit. Please fill out the relevant tables provided for inventory of water systems, list of outlets on board your vessel, Identification of hazards on board your vessel. The risk assessment for each single system. And the relevant list to identify control and sample points. For record keeping please use the logbook provided. It is important that the logbook does include control measure and limits. Just copy the relevant pages from the CMT reference guide and record your test results. Make sure you double check always that the readings are within the allowed limits as stated on the relevant page. One important aspect in the water safety plan is the risk assessment for bacterial growth. It is essential to understand the factors that promote bacterial growth. These are temperatures between plus 20 and 50 degrees centigrade, nutrient availability or sources such as scaling or biofilm, low flow or pressure, absence of biocide or treatment, bad system designs like dead ends, scaled or corroded pipework, tank corrosions and others. A key element in the potable water management is testing. CMT Potable Water Test Kit is a comprehensive, easy to use analysis kit for shipboard use. In the next section you will learn when, where and what should be tested. Let's first look into what should be tested. Disinfectant residual, 
This will be in most cases chlorine, but also silver ions or chlorine dioxide is used on board seagoing vessels. Temperature, bacteria, chemical components like iron or copper, color and turbidity, and aesthetic parameters. Let's now look into when you should test your potable water. This depends very much on your risk analysis. If chlorine is used as a sanitizer, the level of free and total chlorine should be tested minimum once every week. If there is absolutely no risk on board your vessel, a quarterly test for the remaining parameters would be sufficient. However, there are always risk factors which suggest a more frequent testing regime. Typical risk factors are dead ends or taps, which are rarely used. Also cold water temperatures above 20 degrees, which are unavoidable in hot climate areas. Therefore it is a good practice to test the remaining water parameters on a monthly basis on board the ship. Let's now look into where you should test. Where are the recommended sampling points on board your ships for the potable water? Bacteria like Pseudomonas and Enterococci are tested in hot and cold water tanks. So you just need to sample from these two locations for these bacteria. Coliform and E. coli bacteria are tested only in cold water. Sampling points are all storage tanks the furthest outlet and one outlet in between at random. All other parameters are tested in hot and cold water at the same sampling points. This will result in a minimum of six samples, one at the hot water and one at the cold water tank. Third and fourth sample from the hot and cold water tub at the furthest outlet and two more samples from a tub at random in between. For testing procedures, please follow the detailed instructions in the manual provided. To summarize, potable water monitoring is essential for a good water quality on board ships. The guide to ship sanitation defines the specific needs. You need a water safety plan on board your ship. Details how to set the water safety plan up can be found in the CMT reference guide. Use the logbook provided to record your monitoring results. Make sure to use only one log sheet for each parameter. Good practice for testing is the monthly test. Chlorine should be tested on a weekly basis. Samples should be taken from all hot and cold water tanks, hot and cold water from the furthest tap and hot and cold water from one tap in between which you choose at random. You have now passed the training successfully. To make sure all has been understood correctly, please fill out the questionnaire which you can find on this CD. The form needs to be sent back to us. If the test has been passed, we will issue a certificate. If you have any questions while you fill out the questionnaire, please refer to the reference guide provided. You can also view this video again, which should help you answering all questions.